What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be talking about modding Fallout London. That's right, friends. Fallout London came out, and there are mods that the development team suggests that you pick up. And there's also some mods that we've been testing that work with Fallout London that I absolutely love from my playthroughs in Fallout 4. So sit back, relax, and let's talk about it, y'all. Now, if it's your first time using the Vortex Manager, you will have to download this and sign into your account. And whether you're a free user or a premium user this is a great way to manage your mods for the video games that you play now we'll have a link to that in the description below on how to download this and also in the description below we'll have a link to our collection of mods that we have put together that we are using on our playthrough some of them are from the developers and like we said before some are just from different playthroughs of Fallout 4 and I absolutely love these mods but yes what you're going to be able to do is go into games and then you are going to find and where your Fallout 4 install is and you're going to tie it into that and then we're going to need to make a profile and see making a profile I like to have a two different profiles one for my default and then I make one for Fallout London and all we're going to need to do to make a profile is click add Fallout 4 profile then name that profile and I like to make it to where it's its own save games and its own game settings we're going to click those and give it a name and then click save and now you may be wondering why you would have multiple profiles on the vortex manager and as you can see right here as we change between our profiles the different mods that I use on different playthroughs can actually show up on those and they're associated with that profile and in changing back to Fallout London you can see that our Fallout London mods are enabled and the other mods are disabled and now make sure to check your plugins for your Fallout London because for me when I first started with vortex manager the Fallout London plugins were disabled, so make sure those are enabled and make sure to deploy your mods. And now if you're modding off of Nexus mods and you want to have quick access to the video games that you are looking for mods on, then make sure to browse all games on the home page. And then once you find your game, hit the plus symbol and you'll see in this drop down list on games that you'll have quick access to those mods to see what has come out today, what's come out this week. You even have an updated tab. Now the Vortex Manager does track updates and will inform you that there are updates to your mods. But if you want to visually check these out manually, then make Make sure to favorite the game that you're looking for. That way you have quick access to that game's mods. And now you've heard me talk about my collection of mods that I'm using for my Fallout London playthrough. And I'm updating this list every single time that I get a recommendation or a suggestion. And I get time to get into the game to test out these mods to see what is working and what is not working. But I wanted to make a one-stop shop, a one-click install for the mods that the development team suggests other players out there in the wasteland to install and we've also tested out some stuff like the fall UI for the pit boy the sleep and wait and the confirmation to be working and one of my favorite mods of all time is the photo mode that's right friends we can use photo mode in fallout london and if you're a content creator or just someone that likes to take digital photography this is a must install mod for your playthrough in fallout london and now a great thing about using a collection from someone on Nexus Mods is if that player has a mod that you don't want in your playthrough. Take, for example, I'm moving all of my junk from a certain tavern to a certain settlement. I needed weightless junk so I could actually move and move all of that stuff without going around and turning on any kind of console. But the great thing about that is if you don't want that weightless junk, then you can right-click and disable and then ignore that mod and that way all of the other mods absolutely work just perfectly fine without that mod in there. And now installing our collection to your playthrough of Fallout London is as easy as going to the link in the description that has my collection on Nexus mods and then on the top right clicking add to Vortex and whether you are a free user or a premium user it may take you a little bit more time as a free user compared to a premium user but you will have a one click install if you want all of 
the mods that are on that list. But if you don't want one of those mods like we just talked about, right click, disable it, and then make sure to ignore it on that collection mod list and you're absolutely golden. Thanks so much for taking time out of your busy day to check this video out. And if you have any suggestions for mods or mods that you would like to see me test out for Fallout London, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks so much to the channel members for the continued support. Y'all have a great and wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Peace. Love you.